Welcome to this Use Subtitle tutorial. In this tutorial, we will go over the editing process of your automatically transcribed file. As a note, in our first tutorial, we used a different file for processing. For demonstration purposes, I will be editing the first Use Subtitle tutorial and creating a YouTube compatible closed captioning file. For best performance, we recommend a current version of Google's Chrome browser. Let's begin the editing process by selecting your green highlighted file and clicking into it. You will see the video along with your newly created time stamped transcription file. On the right hand side, you will see our action commands that work with the keyboard and by clicking them. The tab command will play and pause your video. The control J command will jump back 15 seconds. The control L will jump forward 15 seconds and the control colon semicolon will insert a new timestamp. These four commands along with the traditional keyboard commands will help make the editing process as straightforward as possible. When it comes to on-screen formatting, how you format your file is up to your preference and or requirement. For this demonstration and closed caption file creation, I only capitalize the first letter of each group of words. At this point, I will fast forward through my editing work, as this part should be fairly self-explanatory. I'm not a fast typist, but this process only took me about 18 minutes. Remember, save often. If at any point the video stops streaming, don't worry, just save your work and refresh the page. Please note, at the end of the transcription, I added a closing timestamp. The closing timestamp is not required for YouTube. Let's save an SRT file. Head on over to the right hand side and just select the download SRT file. For testing the video and subtitle, we use VLAN's VLC, available at VLAN.org. VLC is very easy to use. Just launch the program, load your video and your SRT file, and just like that, you have video with subtitles. You will have options in VLC, as you will in YouTube, to change colors and fonts. This concludes this usesubtitle.tv demo. Please go to usubtitle.tv today and create your own free 10-minute demo account.